see. And today's main theorem, let me write first. And also, during the conference, I learned that John Edmire and John Baldwin is also have the same result. define what, what is this fractional dent twist coefficient now. So this is due to Honda Kade's message. So 
for case one. Periodic <coughs> case. Um, <coughs> so there exists some number, period n, and k1 to kr, r is the number of the boundary components in z, such that the power of the homeomorphism part, diffeomorphism, <coughs> is isotopic to the product of them with about around the boundary components uh, T C1 K1 composed with T C R K R <coughs> and the three isotopic to uh, uh, identity really of the then twist coefficient is phi relative to the boundary phi i is defined to be the ratio k1 over uh, k i over n and for case 2 pseudo of case we pick a um, stable geodesic lamination just one leaf L and boundary is purple <laughs> and the lamination L may be <coughs> have some several plums. This is my L. And around the component boundary C, um, you can find a semi-geodesics starting from starting on the boundary C, which I call lambda one, uh, lambda zero, lambda one, and uh, lambda m. Then uh, this homeomorphism uh, starts from q0, q1, and qm, the points on the boundary C. Then phi uh, h maps the geodesic lambda 0 to say lambda J for some J. Then just assume. And also, since phi and H are isotopic, so I want to denote the isotopy phi, uh, capital phi, uh, T from C to C, such that phi uh, zero X is my diffeomorphism phi and phi 1 x is the diffeomorphism x then let's consider our arc or pass phi p of the image of q naught Uh, at Q 
qj equals lambda 0 or mark to lambda j. Qj. Then, on our hardest matrix, defined the fractional length with coefficient to be relative to this boundary C. Uh, actually, it's the same C, but this is small C and this is big C equals n, n of this n, plus j over m. This is the definition of fractional length with coefficient. And Let me uh, let me tell you um, result by Honda Kazis Matic about a tightness criterion using dentist precision. So they proved uh, so we fix a contact manifold. contact three-dimensional manifold. Then the theorem is that the contact structure is tight if and only if for any open book supporting the manifold, a contact structure. twist coefficient is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, I'm sorry, not, not, not the next one, sorry. Uh, right beam, uh, phi is right beam. Oh. gamma, P gamma, is on the right of gamma. So uh, near the starting point. So for 
example. This is my service S. And gamma essential arc. Uh, this is my boundary C I. And essential arc gamma starts from this point and it can go back but it's just go straight. Then the image is it has to go to the right, right of gamma. So P of gamma is here, and I don't know what's going on, but maybe like this. This is one example. So that illustrates on the right of gamma. Is that for any or for every? 
for any. <coughs> yes, for any. Yes, for any. Yes, I didn't write any. Any. Every. For every, every, every. And every, any, are they different? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My tool is uh, the open book foliation that is in the title of the book. So open book foliation, uh, Tetsuya and I introduced, 
but there is a background. So this is a generalization of uh, Benekan's work, also Berman and Benasco's work. intersect the binding of the open book and F is also oriented then the definition of uh, open book foliation on surface F bunch of leaves, singular leaves and the regular leaves. So we consider <coughs> surface F intersects with each page as theta. So near uh, binding B, so this is my binding B, and pages are coming, meeting here. And my surface yellow uh, intersect the binding at this point P and somewhere here, part of the surface there. Then the intersections is it's getting colorful and colorful. Intersection you can see uh, radio arcs from P. So if you see it from the top uh, we have this. And I want to call this point elliptic point. And I assign a, a sign plus or negative plus or minus according to if. Uh, 
finding these positively or negatively intersect with the tangent plane of F at P. This determines the sign of the elliptic singularity. And next, another singularity is away from the binding. Away from binding B. Um, Here's a part of my surface F, and pages uh, intersect with the surface uh, this way. So this is S theta. Then intersection you can see. <coughs> Swipe this page up and down, we have parallel arcs coming out, out of the boundary. So there is no singularity near the boundary. Yes? Did you allow maximum and minimum too? Or you uh, uh, yeah, so it's a good question. Let me state. I do allow it, but you can erase it. So there it is. In particular, this concentric singularity, you can uh, you can remove it by some some kind of move, so-called the finger move. And I I forgot to write this is hyperbolic. Foliation in contact geometry called the 
call them characteristic foliation. What's the relation between my foliation and characteristic foliation? Foliation is surface that intersect with foliation induced by the intersection of surface F and the contacts to plane C. Uh, it's equal, equal means uh, topologically conjugate. the isotopy of F uh, and the isotopy that takes one foliation to the other. criteria. So for this, um, I want to study, uh, I, I want to introduce uh, transverse over twisted disk. Over twisted disk. Uh, D. So this is corresponding to the classical, uh, well-known, over-twisted disk. So this transverse is the over uh, open book foliation version. So D is topologically the two-dimensional disk, and its open book foliation is. Uh, Negative graph, I draw a picture so that you can understand it. Negative graph is a neg so not a graph, not only graph, it's a tree. Negative tree is negative tree surrounded Actually I am not sure about the spelling around it. Surrounded by a positive circle. Um, I want to keep this picture. So let me do it here. So negative three. I draw a symbol. Very simple one. Um, just one vertex is too too simple, so I make a tree, and this is negative hyperbolic point, and a big circle is elliptic point, and positive circle is um, positive elliptic, positive 
hyperbolic positive elliptic positive hyperbolic positive elliptic positive hyperbolic and the boundary of the disk purple is here oh. And the foliation is, it gets very colorful. Probably you can check that on the boundary of the disk, all the, there is no singularity, it's all, all, all transverse. And the tree can be any tree, and the positive circle also can be small or big, doesn't matter, but that's the meaning of surrounded, surrounded by. And then the theorem is. So open book as surface and diffeomorphism contains a transverse OT disk over twisted disk if and only if uh, SP supports uh, over twisted contact structure. Boundary D is a transverse knot in particular. And oh, I just I erased on that arithmetic theorem, but using this, we can also reprove on that arithmetic theorem of this direction. On the I'm going to talk about a brief sketch of the theorem. So first, I want to introduce uh, 
minimal transverse over twisted disc. It's really sketch, I apologize. Okay. So let's <coughs> be minimum. These are minimum over three digits. Uh, minimal transverse OT disk. And we consider two cases. if and only if lemma 1 uh, phi is not, <coughs> not right view. So to prove this lemma, I use open book for you. Lots of uh, 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 um, it, 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 the proof is non-trivial, so I don't want to. I don't have time to explain it. And according to Honda Kali's method, this means then twist coefficient of CI, that right mean CI for all the bands for all, all I, one to R, is less than or equal to zero, or sometimes you don't need this equality. Well, I mean, just for the, well, you just count one R, right? Yeah. Potentially. Right, right. Hmm? Is, is it wrong? I think it's not. 
You want to say there exists I? There exists There exists I. There exists the I. Oh, right. I'm sorry. You, you are right. You are right. For some I. So that is enough for the theorem. So I'm, I'm proving the contrapositive of this theorem. And, and for the second case, I still have 10 minutes, I guess. And that's enough. Can I just ask a question? Yes. The content of the theorem is yes. that you find an arc that is going to the left. Is that the content? Oh. Uh, of the lemma, sorry. For oh, this one? Yeah. Go, I found that. Uh, so if you find this beginning of this, then, then you, find, you actually find the, the left here is arc. I I found I I proved the contrapositive of this I think yeah. I mean, no, we can't wait here. Go ahead. Yes, I I'll talk to you later. Yes. <coughs> And for this case, um, so for example, this one has four negative points, so this sat satisfies the second condition. So we take out the V for each V. So any uh, variance, one negative vertex, negative negative point. Uh, v. For example, V is any tip of the tree. So this is V. And you know, probably you don't know why, why this is interesting, but this is lemma two. And I will, if you see lemma three, why is lemma three? But lemma three will show why lemma two is important. Any. Uh, okay, so for this is general case. 
not, not, nothing to do with over the case, but general case. So surface F is genus G and boundary R components. Then for any V, Any V is an elliptic point, negative elliptic point. In the open loop foliation of the surface, such that uh, I want to call V is on the binding B. So F intersects with binding B. Thank you. 